Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome again, guys. Welcome to another video lecture by Kami Biology. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about uh, the immunological screening of the cDNA library. Now, how we can perform it? What kind of the steps and procedure are involved? But before that, you guys need to understand the colony hybridization, the steps the, or the stages which are involved in the colony hybridization, because these stages and steps are also involved in this case. So you need to understand about that. So it is already the colony hybridization, you know, screening of uh, genetic library on colony hybridization. This video lecture is also present into my channel. You can go back to my channel and watch this. Now, once you get idea about that, then the immunological screening and the screening of cDNA library by oligonucleotide probe will be very easy. So in the previous video lecture, we also talked about the uh, oligonucleotide probe how we can uh, make it and how we use it according to this uh, how we can use it in the screen technique so let me clean the whiteboard and let me start so let me write Now, what actually we have? We have, let's suppose, this is the vector. And let's suppose this is the restriction site of the vector, which we call that uh, eco R1. Eco R1 restriction site. Now, this is our vector. This is what this is, let's suppose, the vector. Okay, what we are going to do, we should treat this vector with any one of the restrictions. And let's suppose we treat this vector with equal one. Now, this is the restriction set as you can see. So, once we cleave it, so the vector R, this uh, DNA R, you know, uh, the vector or the DNA R becomes separated from each other as you can see. Now, it becomes separated from each other and we get a sticky end as you can see then we have also our target dna having our gene of interest which have the ability to produce growth hormone or growth protein like that let's suppose this green uh, red one represents our target dna so this is the target dna now this target dna is also you know treated with the same restriction enzyme as we applied on the vector now this is the target dna target dna and after that we also get the sticky end of this target dna as you can see okay so we get the target dna after the restriction enzyme once we apply the restriction enzyme on the target dna so we get the structure like that so it can also you know produce the sticky end and after that you know we join this target dna with the vector so we allow it and we join the target dna with the vector and we also you know add the uh, ligase enzyme to seal the nick between them and then we will get a recombinant dna vector like that as you can see now we are joined this target dna with this vector and this is called as recombinant dna vector after that this recombinant dna vector are transferred to the host cell like bacterial cell or yeast cell so this is the bacterial cell let's suppose this is the host cell not bacteria let's suppose host cell it may be yeast or bacteria or e coli now after that we allow this bacterial cell onto the media so let's suppose this is the media and we get many of the colony bacterial cell colony as you can see so remember some of the colony having all those cells 
which can carry our recombinant DNA vector. And some of the colony have all those uh, host cell which don't carry our recombinant DNA vector. But which one colony have? We don't know about that colony. To exactly know about the colony which can carry the recombinant DNA vector, what we are going to do? We are going to do screening of the, this. This is now genetic library. And this plate, all of you better know what we call that master plate. And this is actually the genetic library. After that, what we are going to do? we should screen this master plate with the immunological screen but before that we should know about the structure of the genes we should know about these this is let's suppose the genes so we should know about the structure of the genes once we know the structure of the genes then according to this structure of the gene we can easily make the antibody because in this immunological screening we should make the design the antibody according to the structure of the gene so we will make the antibody we are using two antibody in this case one antibody is called as primary antibody while the other antibody is called as secondary antibody primary antibody will be designed according to this structure of the gene and secondary antibody will be designed according to the primary antibody or because it will be attached to the fc region of the primary antibody and this secondary antibody have the radioactive substance which we call iodine 125 okay so this secondary antibody have this one characteristics and after that one once we loaded these primary and secondary antibody, then if one of them, uh, this, this, the antibody uh, will attach any one of the colony. If it attach any one of the colony, then it will show, let's suppose it, it attach to this one colony, then it will show that this one colony have all those bacterial cell or all those host cell that can, that can carry your recombinant DNA vector. Now how we can actually doing that? We will, you know, again, we will do the same procedure as we explained in the colony hybridization. So you guys must need what the colony hybridization and colony hybridization. I already explained the stage. So what kind of stages? Let me tell you, but in a short uh, view, not in a detail. Now, again, what actually we are going to do, we will put a nylon filter paper. So we will, you know, compress or press the nylon filter paper over the surface of this master plate and after that we will get the master uh, this nylon filter paper the colony on the nylon filter paper as you can see and we call that replica okay now after that again what we are going to do we will proceed this nylon filter paper or we will put this nylon filter paper on SDS solution. This is a detergent and they will break all the cell. And after that, we will get the structure of the uh, colony like that. Now this show that all the bacterial cell are become ruptured. Okay. After that, what we are going to do, we will you know pour this nylon filter paper or we will put this nylon filter paper either on solid surface having temperature 80 centigrade or we will expose this nylon filter paper under the uv light to fix what to fix the uh, what we can say the colony now once the colony are become fixed then what we are going to do we will just uh, uh, then we will load it our antibody here in this case we will load it first of all primary antibody let's suppose we will load it the primary antibody here all these green color can shows the primary antibody now once we loaded the primary antibody so some of the primary antibody will bind here and then what we are going to do we will wash it now by washing the unbounded primary antibody will released out so all unbounded antibody removed by this washing technique and after that we will just get the bounded antibody and with this bounded antibody then we will pour or put the secondary antibody so let's suppose again this is the filter paper uh, this is the nylon filter paper let's suppose <clears throat> and 
and let's suppose these are the kaluni okay in this case the antibody let's say let's say the antibodies are bound here as you can see then when we loaded the secondary antibody here let's say the secondary antibody we loaded here so the secondary antibody will be bound on the fc region of this primary antibody as you can see okay and this secondary antibody have also radioactive substance as we already talked if you guys remember this radioactive substance will be you know iodine 125 and then we will wash the same you know nylon filter paper to remove all the unbounded secondary antibody now after that we will check this nylon filter paper under the x ray film so let's say this is the x ray film so under this x ray film what actually we detected that one of the kaluni show some darkness or show some signal or it become appear in a darkness form as let me draw here so let's suppose this one kaluni show the darkness and this one kaluni also some color or some fluorescence due to this way we are make sure that this one kaluni have actually all the recombinant dna vector and then we will compare this one kaluni over to, to the master plate and then we will see that which one kaluni have the same characteristic so this one kaluni have the same characteristic and then we will you know uh, inoculate or we will separate this one kaluni or take out this kaluni and we will grow it on to the next media and then we use it for our purpose different kind of purpose so that's all about the immunological screening of the genetic library and how we can doing all this technique i hope you get idea about that if still you have any kind of question in your mind you can write it into a comment inshallah in the next video lecture we are going to talk about differential screening technique in a detail thank you so much for watching this video